Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Movavi Video Editor 2024, and I am going to show you how to create some amazing, eye-catching, professional quality video. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can take basic vacation footage and turn it into social media-ready video that's going to absolutely blow your friends and family away when they see it. We're going to cover things like transitions, special effects, motion graphics, motion tracking, and even the latest AI features that are now inside Movavi. We're going to cover all of that. It's drag and drop, easy to use, one click, and you don't need any extra software. It's all here. Let me show you how. All right, the next step is an easy one. Just head over to Movavi.com. You'll see here that I have already been selected for the Mac version, so it has detected that I'm using a Mac, which is great. And then I can just go ahead and click download for free on any of these little buttons. Also up at the top here in the menu, when I click on all products, do note that there are a lot of different products that you can go ahead and look through. So definitely recommend taking a look at them. We're going to be looking at the effects store later, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and click on the video. We're going to click on video editor and then just download it for free. Just like that. Once you've done that, open it up. Let's get started. All right, so once you've got the program open here, the next step is an easy one. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Finder because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, go ahead and open up Explorer and then just grab the footage. Just select all the footage that you're going to use for your video. So I've got to add seven pieces of footage, plus I've got one called Finished, which is the actual finished product, which I'm going to show you up front so you can see kind of what we're going to be building. So here we go. I dragged all of that in here into the project files, and that's it. Now we're going to start putting them on the timeline. All right, once we've got our footage loaded up here like we have, we're going to go ahead and start dragging and dropping it into the timeline. So here's the timeline down here. It also says drop files here, which is kind of nice. I'm going to grab the first piece of footage here, and then I'm just going to drag and drop it into the timeline just like that. And then if I want to see what it looks like, I can just grab the playhead here, and scrub through it and you'll see here we've got a nice couple in the mountains having a good time on a lake fantastic now we've got some more vacation footage here and this is just a nice little trip in the mountains here kind of like the sound of music and there we are in switzerland having fun holding hands etc good stuff now you'll notice here that this is a very long clip so this is another technique that i'm going to show you is you can actually pick where you want the clips to start and stop and there's a couple ways to do it the first way, the way I prefer, is I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, at this point here, and you can see here that it's at 14 seconds and 0.85 seconds, pardon me, that I want this to go ahead and start. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to grab this handle here and watch. I'm just going to pull it to the right, and you'll see here that, okay, I'm getting to the point. Okay, so right here is where I want it to start. So I just pulled the handle, and then I'm going to let go, and there we go. We've gone ahead and basically snip the footage to the left side to see where we wanted it to start. Now we're going to set an out point. So I want the footage to end right about there when they're looking at each other. That's kind of cute. I'm going to go ahead and grab this right side here. You'll see here I'm holding over top of it. I'm hovering. Then I'm just going to pull that in. Oh, that's a nice little kiss. Do I want that kiss? Ah, yeah, I do. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go right to there. So something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to let go. And there we go. We've gone ahead and trimmed this footage to the piece that we want. So there we go. Now we've got our first piece of footage in here. It's just a few seconds long. And then we've got a nice little sound of music type footage. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and throw in, let's go with the uh, other couple here, the couple that we met on vacation. They're in the pool. So I'm going to put that one right here, drag and drop it. It's also magnetized, as you can see. And then where do I want this one to start? I'm just going to go ahead and grab the left one. I'm going to grab the left side. I'm going to pull it in. And I want it to start right about there where they're kind of like in the pool cuddling. And then I want it to end something like that. This is a short snippet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull the right handle in. And then we're going to stop it right there. So I am basically just cutting it and trimming it as I go. This is one way to do it. I'm going to show you a second technique in a minute. But this works very, very well. The next shot I want to do is this one here. This is some drone footage. I clicked on it here. And when you click on a shot, You'll see here it loads here in the preview uh, menu, and you can just sort of see what's going to happen. So this is drone shot. I like it. I'm going to drag and drop that one in. It's going to connect, going to magnetize it. Now, I know that for this shot, there's not a lot going on here until the camera starts moving or until the, the drone starts to move right around here. So once it starts moving and rotating, 
that's where I want this to start. So again, I'm just going to pull this in like that. And you'll see here that it starts moving right around here. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe start it there. I'm going to go ahead and move this back in like that. This is very, very easy to do. There's nothing fancy going on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop it right about there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that right corner in. And we're going to stop it right there. So this is all there is to it. I'm going to grab two more shots here. I'm going to go very quickly here. I've got some uh, group footage here where there's a bunch of people just sort of hanging out and chatting. And this is people we met on our trip. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and use this whole clip because it's quite good and it's short. And last but definitely not least, here's the friend of ours in front of the Paris, in Paris, pardon me, in front of the Eiffel Tower. Let's go ahead and look at this one here. And there we go. She's kind of standing there and the Eiffel Tower's in the background. And she's looking down, admiring something. You probably know what that is. So here we go. I'm going to start it somewhere around here. So right there, maybe. I'm just going to pull that handle in. Yeah, this is where I want it to start. And then I'm going to pull the right handle. I'm just going to pull this in. And I want it to stop right about there when she's looking at the camera. So there we go. We've gone ahead. We've got our footage. We've snapped it together. Now let's start adding in transitions. All right. So the first thing I like to do once I've got my shots on the timeline and I've got them clipped where I want them, I'm going to add in transitions. I like this because they're easy to use. There's thousands to choose from. It's drag and drop, and they add enormous production value. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I move the pl uh, playhead, pardon me, close to the end here, and I hit play, here's the shot, here's the next shot. They just go from one shot to the next shot using a jump cut. For social media, for vacations, and things like that, for vacay video like this, you kind of want to have some fun and some playful, some colors. So let me show you how to go ahead and add in transitions. All you need to do is just click on this little infinite symbol, or they look like Batman glasses from the 90s. I love it. Uh, and you'll see here when I hover over it, it says transitions. Click on that, and presto, you're going to see here that there are featured transitions, and they've got 71 featured transitions, but there are hundreds, maybe even thousands more that you can go through. It's crazy the number of high-quality transitions they've got here. So again, I will show you just quickly here. You'll notice that they're set up into categories. So basic, abstract, cinematic, education and work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I kind of am, you know, partial to holidays and events and nature and travel because that's kind of the style of video we're going here with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on holidays and events. And then look at this here. We've got a loved one. We've got some art. We've got big stroke, whatever that is. <laughs> it's a great name. Uh, and look at all this celebration, all of these different transitions that we can choose from now i've gone ahead and done some of the work and selected some favorites but i highly recommend you kind of flip through them and find out what works for you and use those so i'm going to go back here i'm going to go into my favorites and then here we go we've got loved ones we've got some colorful splashes we've got some emoji bombs some kissing and stuff like that so the first one that i want to use here is this loved one and watch this i'm just going to click on it drag and drop it and then you'll see here that it connects the two so if i zoom in the transition has been applied and watch this i'm going to go ahead and hit play and it's going to transition with that love or all love transition into the next shot watch this here we go boom transition fantastic huge production value literally drag and drop i didn't have to animate anything i didn't have to adjust anything it was one click job done let's go ahead and do another one here so this is one where the couple is kind of kissing in the mountains and then there's another couple kind of having a fun time in the pool here so this one's another type of lovey dovey one so what do i got i got a kiss transition so i'm going to use this one here let's go ahead and add this one so i've gone ahead and also added this into favorites and while i got you here to add a transition to favorites just click on a heart here and you'll see here that when it's full it just has been added and if i don't want it i can remove it just like that so that's all you need to do. I'm going to grab this kiss one here. I'm going to drag and drop it onto my timeline. Watch this. Presto. Now let's take a look at this transition. Here we go. Smooch. Done. Huge production value. It's literally one click. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the next set of techniques. All right. The next thing I want to show you is how I got that countdown timer and that cool let's go transition at the beginning. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to click on finished mp4 this is the original video and you'll see we've got this countdown and then boom let's go transition and it's very cool very high production value 
Fortunately, it's very easy to do in Movavi. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to click on this little plus up at the top. And then you'll see here under intro videos, we've got some options. Now, I want to quickly note up front here that I use a mixture of free and paid videos and transitions. Now, you can go ahead and get by using just the free stuff if that's your thing. If you want to take it to the next level, you can, of course, go ahead and grab the subscription. I will put a link in the description below. So I use a little bit of both. But again, you can go ahead and just use the free stuff. But I'm going to show you basically everything that you can do with this program. So here we go. I've gone ahead and clicked on intro videos. And then what I want to do here is I'm looking for the timers. So for me, I mean, I like the holiday events. I like hobbies and art. These are places I would look. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on vlogging and style. Now here, take a look at this. These are all things that you can do. And as I slide down, look at this. We've got countdown. So look at this one here. This one's very cool. Five, four, three, two, one, rocket. Um, and there's another one here. This is another really cool uh, animated countdown. And again, all animated, all done for you. All you got to do is trim it to however you want it. Now, for this one, I kind of like this one here. Take a look at this one. This is called kinetic typography, and it's very high production value. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, and I'm also going to click on the heart to make sure that I favorited it. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it into the timeline right at the beginning. So here we go. When I hit play, now what? We've got five, four, three, two. Perfect. Now, I don't want it to be starting at five. I want it to sort of start at, let's see where I want to start. Yeah, let's start at five. Okay, we're going to start here. Watch as I hit play. Five second, four second, three second, two second, one second, go. Extremely high production value, but there's no transition from that to the original shot. So let's go ahead and add in a transition. And we just saw how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on transitions again. And then you're going to see here that I've got this one here in my favorites as well as my recent. So if I click on favorites, it should be there. There it is. Oh, no, that's the emoji bomb. Pardon me. Let's go. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that transition. And now watch this. We're going to go four, three, two, one, transition. Let's go. Presto. Off we go. This is how you go ahead and take things to the next level. Now I'm going to show you how to add in high quality titles. Let's go. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to add in some text, some titling. And in Movavi Video Editor 2024, the text and titling is first class. It's top notch. It's probably the best in the business. No joke about that. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. On the left side, I'm going to click on this big T, which stands for titles. And then look at this here. I'm going to go ahead and start up here at the beginning. Here are 52 of their featured titles, and you can just scroll through them. And if you ever want to see what one of them looks like, just click on it and it'll load up here and you'll see it in a split second. So here's an example of what it looks like. Very cool one. This is one that we're going to use here. This is called a fly-in text and we're going to make Switzerland out of that. And it just adds a nice high production value type effect to your video. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and flip through a few of these. Now for this one, I've already selected some favorites. Keep in mind that there are 58 or more here that are free. So you do not have to pay for them. In fact, the fly-in text one is a free one. So again, you can either select the free ones or you can use the subscription package. Of course, the link's in the description below. Or you can mix and match them depending on the package and the uh, what you use. So I'm just going to go back here. Now, I've gone ahead and done the hard work here. And I've got some favorites here. So I've got 21 favorites. So let's go here. Let's just scroll through here. I'm going to scroll through it. And right about here... I want to add in some text. So what did I do? I had this one here. It's called ribbon and I'm going to add this ribbon in. So I'm going to drag and drop it literally. And you'll see here that it magnetizes to the playhead. So when I let go, it is now added to the playhead. So if I want to move this around, I can. So I can move it to start, say somewhere right around here. I'm going to go ahead and let the transition do its thing. Let's see what we got here. Transition ends. Let's go. And then the text pops in. So maybe I want it to start around here. So again, I'm just pulling the uh, edge here, and then I'm going to pull this right edge in, and I'm going to make it so that it stops before the end of the clip here. So they're kind of lined up here. So let's go ahead and click on this, and then what do we want it to say? Watch this. I'm just going to double click on it, and then here we go. I'm just going to click on text, and literally it says title text here. I'm going to be like, uh, on the lake, exclamation mark. Done. It's that simple. I'm going to go ahead and click on subtitle, I do not want a subtitle, so I'm just going to delete it. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and click in here, delete. So the subtitle is gone. And then watch this. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Let's see what we got. On the lake. Beautiful. Now, it's not exactly where I want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the back. And watch this. I'm just going to move this up. So the text is up. And now I'm just going to move the ribbon. I'm going to click on the ribbon. Hold the shift key down so it moves up directly. And then something like that. And then look at that. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Let's stick at the beginning. I'm going to hit play. Hit space bar to play it on the lake. And it's right over their head. That's exactly what I want. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and skip forward to the next one here. And then, okay, on the lake is gone. And now we're in Switzerland. Let's do that one while I got you here. Again, I'm going to click on T for titles or text. And then in my favorites, you'll see here, this is a free one. It's called Fly In. Now, I like to move my playhead to where I want the text to begin. It's just easier that way. I'm going to click on Fly In, and I'm just going to drag and drop it right here. And let's see what we got here. Okay, it's not quite exactly what I want, but we'll get there. So here we go. We've got it placed right there. I'm going to click on it. You'll see here we've got Text Clip, New Preset, and Motion Tracking. We're going to do motion tracking a little later. We're going to talk about some of the AI stuff in a few minutes here. But let's just click on the text here. And then in this one, I'm just going to go Caps Lock, Switzerland. So there we go. We're in Switzerland, and we're having a good time flying around and doing some Sound of Music type Heidi stuff. Good fun. Okay, so there we go. I've added that in. Let's see what we got here when I hit play. Watch it fly in. That's the important part. It flies in. Perfect. And there it is in the middle. Now, you may want to move that. So if you double click on it again, you see here that you'll see the bounding box is around it. I'm just going to click on it and maybe I'll move it up to somewhere around here so I can move it as I see fit. Or do I want to center it? Yeah, let's just dead center it right there. And then presto, it's done. I'm going to go ahead and add in a little more text over here. I'll show you how I did it. And then we're going to get to the next part, which is fun because we're going to be using stickers, but we're going to be motion tracking them. So they move with the camera. You're going to love it. All right, be back in a sec. All right, welcome back. So I added in another little bit of text here. Let me show you what it looks like here. So I'm just going to move the playhead here. We're going to see the transition. Then we're going to see the drone shot. And it's awesome. Watch this. Hit play. So I just hit the space bar. There we go. We've got our transition, our hearts. And there's a drone shot, and then boom, trying our new drone. How cool is that, right? So how did I do that? Very quickly here, if you want to follow along, it's simple. Just go to text or titles, and then under abstract right here, one of them is called split frame pack. And I use this one here, the white one, but there are so many different styles that you could choose from. I mean, literally, there are thousands of different styles, and they're all extremely professional. So... There you go. I've added in another little bits and piece. But now what I want to do is I want to show you how to use stickers and we're going to motion track them with AI. This is super cool and this is going to take your uh, videos to the next level guaranteed. So let's go ahead and go back up to the beginning here. And then here we go. The transition ends right around here. I'll zoom in a little bit maybe just so you can see it a bit better here. And then presto right about here is where I want, let's say right around here. This is where I want an emoji sticker for each of their faces because they're in love and then as the camera moves and their head and their body moves I want the emoji to go with them so it's going to be motion tracked and again this is cool AI stuff so there's a few ways to do this let's just start skipping through here what I'm going to do is on the left side you're going to see something called elements under elements we get a few different options the first one is stickers this is the one I'm going for and now, again, as I sign and scroll through these, these are the featured stickers. There are a lot of them, but you can go through them. There are free stickers, and I think there's 101 free ones. So, again, if you just want to stick to the free stuff, totally understand. If you want to use some of the premium stuff, go nuts. Both are fine by me, and I use both. So, in this case, I'm going to go with, let's see here. I kind of want to go with, this is kind of Valentine-y. This is holidays and events. Let's see what we got here. We've got some pretty cool-looking stickers here. I kind of like, oh, not cats. We don't want that. Do we want a box of chocolates? I don't know. Let's go and let's just see what we got here. Disappointed, dizzy face. Okay, yeah, lots of good ones here. But the one I want is this face with heart. So that looks like the one I would go with because these guys are in love and they're on the lake and they're having a great day. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and favorite this first just so I don't forget. And then I'm just going to drag and drop this sticker 
on top here. So let's go ahead and stick that right about there. So when I do that, you'll see here that it's placed it underneath the ribbon, and that's fine because, well, it doesn't really matter. If it was over top of it, that would be okay too. But as we scroll through, you'll see here that the face, eh, it's a little bit scrunched up actually now that I look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this face out, make it nice and big here, something like that. Okay, good. And then I'm going to place it right over her face. Maybe that's a little bit too much here, something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Hit play, and we've got our little scrunchy. Okay, there we go. We've got it nice and good, and it's all hearts. But you'll see here, look at this. When I hit play, this is interesting because as her head moves, and it doesn't move a whole heck of a lot, but it moves enough, the heart or the emoji doesn't move with her face, and I want to change that. So let's go ahead here and make some changes. So at the beginning, we're going to go ahead and hit play, and then there we go. We've got our heart face. I'm going to double click on it. Let's click on the heart. Sorry, I messed up. I clicked on the ribbon. Meant to click on the heart. There we go. And I'm going to move it to right about here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And something like that. I'm going to click out and then it'll look proper. And now watch this. When we go back to the beginning, here we go. It pops into business right here. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the face with hearts here. And then look up here. Motion tracking this is what we want to do now i'm going to go ahead and select artificial intelligence the alternative method the reason why is because it's going to detect the camera movement you can select any of these three styles i use precise and ai at the most i'm going to go ahead and click on artificial intelligence and then i'm going to track it i'm going to click on track watch this it's going to go ahead and track the motion normally in the past you would have to use programs like adobe after effects which are very expensive for this type of motion tracking, but now it's built right into Movavi, so all good there. Let's go back to the beginning, and when I move here through the playhead, see how it wobbles? See how the the uh, bounding box around it sort of shakes and wobbles? That's deliberate. That means that the emoji is tracking her face. So if I click out and we watch it again, watch this. Here it comes. Emoji pops in, and then it moves with her face as her head rotates. That is how you do it. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more option here. Maybe we're going to do this guy's face right about here. Oh, that sounded weird. Let's set up another sticker for him. So and again, we're going to click on stickers, and we're going to go up at the top here. And then for this guy, instead of that heart, maybe, yeah, these two are in love, so that might work. Let's see what we got here. Okay, some glasses would work. Grinning face. Let's go with this one. The guy looks like he's pretty happy. Let's go with that. So I'm just going to grab any sticker. And again, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of them that you can select through. I'm just going to show you the technique. You guys add in what you see fit. I want the sticker to start right around here. I'm going to grab it, the grinning face, and I'm going to put it on the timeline right here. And when I do that, well, there it is. Now, it's obviously too small. So when you see the bounding box, I'm just going to pull one of the corners and make it bigger here. So I want to cover his whole head because he's very, very happy. Okay, we're having a good time. And this is social media kind of friendly stuff. So you'll see here, now we've got the sticker. When I hit play, the sticker is not going to track with his face. Watch this. Here we go. So I'm going to hit play, and it just sort of hovers and wobbles in place, but it doesn't track with him, right? You can see his face moves and his head moves. Sticker does not go with it. This is amazing. I'm just going to double click on it, and when I do that, I'll move it to the beginning, actually. Move the play to the beginning. Double click on it. Clip editing, motion tracking, here we go. I'm going to use artificial intelligence as the method. Again, I'm going to click track. It's super fast. It's super easy. Watch what comes from this. We're going to go ahead and have this track directly to his face. Should just take a quick second here. All right, it's done. And now watch this. You can already see the blue box here, which means it already knows that it's tracking to his head. And it's literally that easy. It's so smart. It just knows what to do. Hit play. Watch this. It's tracking on his head, and it moves over as as his head moves. See here, it moves. It knows that it's sort of tracking to his head. Now, again, I could go in there and make this a little bit bigger, and I could move it around if I really wanted to. I could just double-click on it and then move it if I felt the need to do that. I liked it the way it was, but there you go. This is how we add in stickers that kind of motion track based on this shot here. And, yeah, this looks pretty darn good, so... That is the second technique I wanted to show you 
Now I'm going to show you how to add in a little bit of special effects to take it to the next level. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to add in a nice subtle overlay effect like the one at the beginning. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This was the original shot here, the finished version. And if we skip forward to around here, look at this here in the background. You've got new friends. We've seen how to add in our own text and our own animations, our own motion tracking, like you've got these things on their heads. But look here, the hats and glasses, but look here in the background, you can see here that there's this subtle sparkle that is obviously not in the original shot, which is this one here. So how did I do that? Let me show you, super simple. I'm gonna go up here to the top left under effects, and under effects there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of effects, pardon me, that you can choose from. Now there are free effects, so these are some you may want to consider here, Lau. These are really, really good stuff. Let's take a look here at if neon flashes. This is one that I think I liked here. If I wanted to have some flashing or some sort of uh, northern lights effect. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that one. I like that one. So how did I add that in? Watch this here. I'm just going to click on this original shot. So this is the shot. I'm going to grab neon flashes. Again, this is a free effect. And just drag and drop it right here on top. So oops, I got to let go of it. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the footage. And you'll see here that it has applied it, but it doesn't look right, hey? Because it looks pretty over the top, way too strong. And a lot of people don't realize that that's okay. Because what you can do now is you'll see where it says FX1 here on the timeline. I'm going to left click on that. It's going to open up the clip properties. And now watch this here under neon flashes. Instead of having it set to 100%, let's pull it back to let's say about 20%. 25%, you'll still be able to see it. Now watch what we got here. We've got some subtle effects applied. We've got that sort of northern lights. It might be a little bit too much here, so I can go ahead and maybe I'll pull it down to about eight, 17, 18%. Now watch, let's try it again here. Check this out, there's our transition. And now we've got this subtle shimmering effect that's added a lot of production value to this video again, and this was a free effect. So. There's just another technique we can use to up and enhance our production value in Movavi. Okay, I got one more thing I want to show you. All right, the last thing I want to show you is how did we created that old retro 1950s cinematic look here. In the original shot, if I click on it here, this is called Finish. This is the original. If we go right to the end, look at this here. We go right past this and trying our new drone, right to the last shot in front of the Eiffel Tower. We've got our transition, and then presto, look at this here. We've got a color change. We've got the old sepia 1950s camera, which was really big in cin in Paris, pardon me. They were big into cinema, so it's very appropriate. It's got scratches on it. Uh, we've got vignetting on the sides here so that they're a little dark around the corners, kind of narrowing your look into the middle. How did I do that effect? Super simple. Let's click out of that here. I'm gonna select this footage here, and now all you gotta do is go to the left side here, select effects. Under effects, you're gonna see filters. Now, there are so many different filters that you can apply here. I mean, literally hundreds of them. Some of them are free, some of them are not free. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the ones that I wanna use here. And again, guys, go nuts, try them all out. They're fantastic. But for the shot that we're going for, we're gonna use some retro filters. And not everybody knows this, but you can actually apply multiple filters to a clip. So let's take a look at this one here. Here's the girl in front of the uh, Eiffel Tower there. The first one I'm going to apply is the old movie scratches. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to drag and drop it right on top of the footage. And when I do that, you're not going to see anything yet, but when I hit play, see how you've got those scratches in the background when it's playing, like it's on an old movie, on an old movie player? Well, very cool stuff. That's the first one. The second one, I'm going to apply old movie retro. Now, this gives a color correction. Watch this here. I'm going to drag and drop that on there. Presto, we've got this sepia color. We've got that 1950s look going on. Very cool. So we've applied those two. Now look at this one here, old movie vignette. I'm going to drag this one on top as well. This is the third filter. And now we've got that old film effect including coloring scratches on the lens etc all done in seconds with drag and drop so if we go back and take a look at what we've done here we've done pretty much everything you can do 
to a video or to a movie like this one here, and we've taken basically boring basic footage, vacation footage. Looks fine, but it's not popping to do this. Look at this. When we hit play, we've got transitions, man. We've got special effects. We've got AI motion tracking. We've got flying in titles. We've got pretty much the whole nine yards. We've got filters. We've got overlay effects. We've got cool custom transitions like those ones there. We've got the uh, retro film projector effect applied. All of that inside Movavi, no extra software. We've done it, guys. If you have any questions, if you get stuck anywhere at any point, leave a comment, leave a message. I will respond to you, and I will do my best to help you out. I'm always here. I'm always around. I get them within, you know, I, I check my messages every day. So I check my comments every day. So definitely hit me up at any time. All right. Well, I got you here. Before I do a quick recap, it occurred to me that while going through some of the final footage, there's no real audio on it. We don't have any songs or sound effects, and we really should. So let me show you very quickly how I do that inside Movavi. Up at the top left here, you'll see this musical note. That is audio, and under audio, we get two options. We get music, and we get sounds. Now, you can always import your own songs or your own sound effects. There's nothing wrong with that. I like to use theirs because I know it's royalty-free and there's no copyright issues. So, let's start with sounds. And when I click on sounds, you'll notice here under free, there's 693 free sounds. That's going to do the trick. However, when I go through them, let's take a look here at some of the free ones here a little bit down here you're gonna see eight millimeter projector and that's kind of great for us because when I start the video here in this example I've got a projector at the beginning so let's put that in very simple I'm gonna click on the heart to favorite it then I'm gonna drag and drop it and just drop it right at the beginning and let's take a listen perfect that is the perfect sound effect so I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. I want the sound effect to stop somewhere around here. Let's say so. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's go ahead to the beginning of this sound effect. When, I, when you'll notice here, for the first second or so, it doesn't click on until right about here. And you can see that in the sound wave here. So I'm just going to trim this a little bit so that it starts quicker. That's all. It's a minor thing, but I want this to be really, really good. So there we go. I've gone ahead and trimmed it. Now let's take a listen. Beautiful. And now this is about where I want it to stop when the transition's kind of finishing up here. So again, I'm just going to pull this handle in and then all the way back to where the uh, projector basically can't be seen anymore. So where is that? Right about here. So this is where I basically want it to end. And if we hit play... All right, feels like I'm back in elementary school. Fantastic. <laughs> now let's go ahead and add in some music. And I click on the music. You'll see here that they also have a ton of free songs and uh, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and shop here. But keep in mind that they've got hundreds, maybe even thousands of them that you can go through and check out. I'm just going to go work with the free stuff. And then presto, here's a whole bunch of different options. Now, if you want to listen to see what it sounds like, let's see. Be Your Fool. Okay, I've done that before. Let's listen to this one as an example. Hey, what up, girl? Hey, what up, girl? I what like it. Doing? Let's listen to Best Memories. Okay, so that sounds like vacation footage to me. So let's go with that one. So I'm going to go back into music here, and all I got to do is just grab it and drag it onto the audio timeline. I'll start it right after the projector. And then presto, look at that. It's been added to the timeline. It's a little bit too long, so I'm just going to shorten it to the same length. And now, I'll just zoom back in a little bit here. Let's listen to what we got. Projector. Perfect. Now we've got some music on top of it. If it's too loud, you can just pull this little line down here, as I'm doing here. And it just reduces the audio so if you want it to be a little quieter or louder in case in some instances but i'm just going to pull it down a little bit because i want it to be a little more subtle let's listen to this more subtle perfect that's how you add sound effects and music using their free library like a champ all right guys let's wrap this up
All right, so let's take a quick look at what we've got so far here. We have this fantastic countdown, this let's go transition. We've done some AI motion tracking, sticker tracking, animated titles. We've got a fly-in title here. Keep in mind that I've mixed and matched some of the techniques and some of the examples here, but this is all stuff that we learned during this video here. You can see here we've got the fly-ins there. We've got this cute couple kissing, a kiss transition. Here we have some background overlay with some animated hats and smiley faces, emojis, which again, we motion tracked with AI as well as these hearts here. Literally, we have taken stock footage, basic vacation footage, and made it into professional top tier quality stuff here, guys. We've got retro, uh, we've got some retro film action here. We've got color correction. You name it, we did it here, and we did it in just a few short minutes. Guys, if there's at any point you get stuck, if you are struggling with any of the techniques or any of the effects, leave a comment. Let me know. I will help you out personally. I'll respond to every comment, and I'll make sure that you get there. So anyways, give it a try, guys. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.